Your options on custom views are taken to the next level with the ability to group your data and add custom formula columns. Let's first explore grouping. Grouping not only allows you to further organize your jobs, customers, vendors, and more, but it also helps reduce the number of custom views needed to filter your data down and discover key metrics. When in the jobs, documents, catalog, customer, and vendor directories, we can click on the settings icon to open up our custom view settings. Here, we'll see a dropdown called Group By. This dropdown menu will display options for how you may want to group your data. Some of these options are default, such as the created at date, while others are based on your pick list custom fields. Let's take a look at the options here in our customer directory. If we group by a date field, we can then select the time increments that we would like to use. In this case, let's choose month. Now, when we click apply, we'll see that all of my leads and customers are listed by the months that they were added to JobTread. This can help me see which months I have the most incoming leads. I can also expand the months to view the customer account information. Now let's group by our customer custom fields. First, we'll choose the lead source custom field to see where our customers are coming from. And now let's add on an additional grouping like lead score. Now we can expand the sources to see the quality of the leads that we receive from each source. This can really help us determine which marketing efforts are paying off the most. Now let's take a look at how we can leverage data grouping in other job tread tools. In the vendor directory, I might want to group my vendors by the vendor custom field called trade. All right, now let's break them down further by rating. I always think it's helpful and very important to rate our trade partners so we know who is the most reliable for future jobs. All right, let's try again. Within the documents tool, we are seeing all of our documents from every job in one place. Now we may want to organize our documents further by grouping them into their type. All right, and now let's group them by their status. Here we have a complete breakdown of all of our documents with aggregated totals. Just a reminder, if you'd like to add specific custom fields to group your data, you'll visit your job tread settings, and then we'll click on the custom fields tab. Here you can add pick list custom fields in each section, which will then be available in your grouping menus. Now grouping is incredibly helpful to organize and make correlations within our data. Let's take a look at how we can create custom formula columns to further dig into our data. Formulas can be especially helpful in the jobs directory. Now what if we want to see the quarterly commissions of our sales team? Let's start by grouping our data by the date field. All right, and now we'll select the time increments that we'd like to use. In this case, we'll choose quarter. Now I like to click apply after each adjustment to my custom view to ensure that my changes are as expected. So here we will see that all my jobs are listed in quarters. Perfect. Now I'll add an additional grouping to further sort my data. I have a job custom field where I track the salesperson assigned to the job. So let's choose the sales rep custom field as our second grouping. Now, after we apply our changes, we can see a breakdown of the jobs by sales rep within a single quarter. This already provides great insight. However, to reach our goal, we need to add an additional column for commissions and use formulas to calculate this. So let's head to our fields tab on our custom view settings. Now you can click the button at the bottom that's called add a formula column. Here, we're going to type in the name for the column. Then we'll build out the formula. In this case, we will choose the projected profit for each job, and then we'll multiply that by the commission percentage of the profit. So we'll do 15%. Now we'll choose the type of the result. Since we want the result to display in a dollar amount, we'll select currency. Great. We will now have a custom column on our table. Now I'm gonna move this column ahead of the others and maybe even turn off a few that we don't quite need for this view. Now don't forget to apply your changes after each adjustment to make sure it adjusts the way that you intend it to. 
Now we can expand the quarters and view the total jobs sold by each sales rep. And then when we expand further, we can see all the jobs and the commission earned per job, as well as an aggregated total at the quarterly level. Now, once you like a view that you've created, go ahead and click Save As and save this view as a new custom view for yourself. And of course, you can always convert it to your organization. Now, this is just scratching the surface of what you can do with custom formula fields in your data views. We hope you enjoy the endless possibilities of organizing and analyzing your data. If you have any questions, please contact your success manager or email support at jobtread.com.